So today's fantastic dish that we're going to be making is a cold beef Thai salad. The great thing about this dish is it's extremely healthy because of its fresh ingredients. Now the first ingredient we need is some coriander. After we have this, we need some fresh mint, fresh, keep in mind, and some basil. Now, basil is probably one of the world's healthiest foods. It promotes heart health, healthy skin, and even boosts your immune system. Next, we're gonna need some cucumbers. Now, if you're making this dish just for yourself, you only need one. However, if you're gonna be making it for two people, you will need two cucumbers. The next ingredient we're gonna need is about 200 grams of cherry tomatoes and two long chilies. Now, for this dish, we're only gonna need two, but you can keep chilies for a long time and add them to other dishes. We're gonna need some red onions. Two is plenty. Then some ginger. Two ginger stalks this size is enough. Ginger is gonna help add some kick and zest to the dish. After that, some garlic cloves. After the garlic, we're gonna need some limes. Now for this dish, we're not gonna add the limes. All we need is the juice. Two to three is enough. This dish is Thai after all, which means we're gonna need a lot of sauces. First one is soy sauce. Second one, is sesame oil, and lastly, we need some fish sauce. Now, the great thing about fish sauce is it's high in protein, calcium, and iron. Now that we have our sauces, we need some palm or cane sugar. Lastly, our most important ingredient, a rump steak. Good morning. Hi, good morning. Very good morning, sir. Thank you so much. Welcome. The great thing about steak is it's high in protein and low in saturated fats, unlike a lot of people think. Now, the great thing about a good quality steak is it decreases your risk of heart disease by increasing your good cholesterol and decreasing your bad cholesterol. Finally, we have all of our ingredients, which means we can head to the kitchen and do some cooking. Now that we've laid out all of our ingredients for our Thai cold beef salad, we can start. Now the first thing you'll need to do is obviously slice up your beef. You want to make it nice and thin. Now this is quite a big piece of meat, but thankfully it's not going to cause too much problem for my prestige chef knife. As you can see, it goes through really easily. About that much is how thin you want it. One of the great things that I've learned about using great cooking utensils like Prestige, especially this knife, is it stays sharp for a long time. If you've been cooking, you'll know that there's nothing worse than working with a knife that's blunt or that goes blunt really quickly. Once you have about 20 to 25 slices, which will equate to about 200 or 250 grams, you'll have enough for one person. Once you finish cutting your meat, you'll either need to wash the surface of your cutting board or swap it out for a new one. The reason for this is you don't want any bits of meat getting mixed up with your vegetables when you do your vegetable cutting. Now we're going to be making the sauce that we're going to both marinate our steaks with and drizzle over the top of our salad. It's going to require all three of our limes and a mixing bowl. What we need to do is cut these limes in half and squeeze out the juice into our container. Next thing we'll need to add is our ginger. Now you won't need a lot, just one or two thin slices, preferably grated to give it a real oriental Thai flavor. You won't need a lot. Ginger is very strong, so don't overdo it. Once you have that, you're gonna need one clove of garlic. Now that you've sliced up your garlic, you just need to add it to your mixture as well. Once you have it in there, just give it a little bit of a stir around. It doesn't look that great, but you're not gonna be cooking this. All you want is all of the flavor and the juices to mix together. Once you have those three mixed together, you're going to mix in your palm sugar. Now, palm sugar is great because it's almost like brown sugar, but it doesn't come from a sugar cane. You're going to need about one teaspoon, maybe one and a half, a heap teaspoon. You're going to add that to your mixture. 
as well as some fish sauce. You're gonna need one tablespoon of this. And since I'm using a teaspoon, I'm gonna put two teaspoons. Next, we're gonna need some sesame oil. And you're gonna need only one teaspoon of this because it is quite strong. Next, we're gonna need some soy sauce. Now, soy sauce is quite salty, so don't use too much of it. One teaspoon should be plenty. Again, go ahead and stir this up very generously and rigorously. Once you've stirred up the mixture, what you're gonna need to do is now you're gonna place your strips of steak into the bowl that has the mixture. It's basically gonna act like a marinade. Now in this particular case, don't be scared to get your fingers in there. Work the juices through all of the slices of meat. You're gonna need to place this bowl in the fridge for about two hours. Once two hours has passed, you should have 25 pieces or 200 grams of steak that is really well marinated. Now the reason why you want to marinate it for two hours is to make sure that all of the flavors of the garlic, of the ginger, of the soya sauce, all of that comes together and infuses with the steak. Now once you've done that, you're going to need to start cooking your steak. So we're going to turn on our stove. Now because these slices of steak are really thin, they're going to cook quickly, so you must be prepared for it. Once you start putting them on, you have to be on the ball. As you can see, they are cooking really, really quickly. Now, you don't want to cook them too much because that's going to make them too hard. You want to make sure that they're nice and tender still. Once they're ready to come off, let's test one. Absolutely perfect. Not too long, so that they're just a little bit pink in the middle. While the meat is in the fridge cooling down, we need to prepare our vegetables. The first one is the cucumber. Now, the great thing about this salad is you don't have to be perfect. It's very rough, chop it up. Put this into a mixing bowl. Next, it is our cherry tomatoes. All you need to do is just slice these in half. Again, the good thing about having a sharp knife like Prestige is it just goes really easily through your vegetables. Now that we've mixed our tomatoes and cucumbers up together, we're gonna to need to add some coriander and mint. Not a lot. But the great thing again about coriander is it gives everything a real oriental flavor. So now that the coriander is added, we need to add a little bit of mint. Guys, don't go overboard with the mint because mint is quite strong. You wanna pick the leaves off the stalk and add them to your mixture. Choose the leaves that are brightest because they mean they are the freshest. Now we're gonna add our chili. Chilies, I should say. Now unless you like a kick, I highly suggest you de-seed them. If you leave the seeds in there, it's gonna burn. Now that you've de-seeded your chilies, you're gonna need to slice them up like so. Again, be very rough. Nice big chunks, not going to hurt anyone. Once we've done that, we're going to slice up an onion. Make sure you do break your ingredients apart a little bit with your hands. And finally, the last touch a cup or so of roasted peanuts. One thing I did forget to mention is add a little bit of basil to the mixture of your salad. Just grab a few leaves off the plant. You don't want to grab too many, otherwise you're going to kill the plant 
and you don't want to do that you want to be able to keep your plant around so that the next time you're cooking you'll have some fresh basil leaves now that everything is added into your bowl get in there in with your hands and just mix it all together and with your hands put some of your mixture onto the plate like so once you have some of that on there take the slices of your beef and just place them roughly on top like so and you'll be ready to serve.